Good afternoon. I will be pitching Fresh Pet Inc. ticker FRPT with a current price of $107, a price target of $130.57, representing 22.03% upside. Fresh Pet is an American pet food company that prides themselves on creating fresh and healthy food for pets. The company focuses on producing refrigerated dog and cat food that is filled with nutrients and does not use any preservatives. Fresh, Fresh Pet operates through two retail segments labeled Grocery, Mass, and Club, and Pet Specialty and Natural. The Grocery, Mass, and Club segment consists of Fresh Pet products being sold in grocery stores, while the Pet Specialty segment consists of Fresh Pet products being sold in pet stores. The company earns 91% of its revenue in the United States, 8% in Canada, and 1% in the United Kingdom. Fresh Pet was founded in New Jersey in 2006 and currently has refrigeration, refrigeration units in over 23,600 stores. Since their founding in 2006, Fresh Pet has focused on providing fresh and healthy pet food to pets. 25 years ago, consumers could care less what their pets were eating. Owners would buy their pets the cheapest chow and kibble and consider their pets healthy. Now, this consumer behavior has changed and Fresh Pet is catering to this revamping. Owners see their pets as family members and want the best for their dogs and cats. This shift in behavior has created a path for Fresh Pet to alter the industry with their fresh and healthy food. As a result, Fresh Pet has implemented an aggressive growth strategy by installing their own Fresh Pet fridges and leading retailers such as Walmart and Costco. Fresh Pet has been able to attract millennials and Gen Z pet owners to their high quality products. The firm has increased the number of stores they provide refrigerators at a 9.06 kegger. This increase in the number of stores matched with their strategic marketing campaign has allowed Fresh Pet to grow their revenue at a 22.8% kegger over the past several years. While this approach has led to impressive revenue growth, Fresh Pet has still struggled to make a net profit. Supply chain issues and inflation have caused Fresh Pet margins to condense. However, the problem should be over soon as the company is investing in additional manufacturing capacity. By adding two more production facilities, Fresh Pet will be able to supply more products at higher margins, which will ultimately lead to increased profitability. Because of Fresh Pet's aggressive growth strategy paired with increased manufacturing capacity and changing consumer behavior, it is recommended that Fresh Pet Inc. be added to the AIM Small Cat Fund with a price target of $130.57, representing 22.03% upside. The first driver is expansion and household penetration. To sell their products to customers, Fresh Pet has relied on an aggressive growth strategy of in-store refrigerators, advertising, and household penetration. In 2013, the company had fridges in 10,826 stores. At the end of 2021, Fresh Pet had fridges in 23,631 stores, representing store growth at a 9.06% kegger. This aggressive growth strategy into big box and regional retail stores has allowed Fresh Pet to penetrate roughly 4.18 million households, but the growth is not done. Fresh Pet, aim, Fresh Pet aims to penetrate 11 million households by 2025 and grow stores by 5% year over year. This goal is being supported by an aggressive marketing campaign where Fresh Pet plans to spend 12% on sales on their advertising campaign. The company also hopes to achieve growth from acquiring more Gen Z customers as they enter adulthood and start owning pets. Fresh Pet believes if they can achieve their goal, Goals by 2025, they will have fridges in roughly 28,700 stores and will have penetrated 11 million homes. This ultimately will have result in revenue of $1.3 billion. The second driver is Pets Are Friends. 25 years ago, when all dogs were fed either dry kibble or canned meat, people saw their dogs and cats as only pets. Owners typically would buy their pets the cheapest food available and were not concerned about the ingredients within it. However, Today, with the help of the pandemic, people's views have shifted to see their pets as, as an extension of their families. Owners want the best for their pets, and this means allowing them to eat healthier and be more active. This shift is evidenced by a survey, survey where 70% of millennials and Gen Z dog parents said they cared about how their pet food is made. By being advertised as a pet food company that provides fresh and healthy foods for pets, Fresh Pet has been able to take the market by storm with revenue growing at over 20% per year since 2017. This rapid growth should continue at roughly 30% as even more Gen Z and millennial consumers make the switch to fresh and healthy pet food. The third driver is manufacturing capacity. To provide customers with healthy and fresh pet food, Fresh Pet produces their products in production facility 
called Kitchens. Prior to 2020, the company operated out of one kitchen in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. As the company began to rapidly grow, this lack of capacity caused FreshPut to not be able to meet demand of customers this past year. The company often ran out of inventory and had many shipment shortfalls and inefficiencies. To combat these issues, FreshPut invested capital into two new kitchens called Kitchen 2.0 and Kitchen 3.0. Because of the investment in these production facilities, FreshPut currently has running inventory of $600 million while only earning $490 million in sales. On top of this, these two new production facilities allow FreshPet to accelerate their growth momentum, restore their credibility with customers, and protect themselves from volatility. Ultimately, these facilities will allow FreshPet to restore their margins before they have shipment issues. While the company currently operates at a 38% gross margin, the new facilities should allow FreshPet to operate around 43 to 45%. To reach an intrinsic value for FreshPet, a 10-year DCF model was created. Using a terminal growth rate of 2% and a weighted average cost of capital of 7.05%, an intrinsic value of $142.01 was reached. A sensitivity analysis of the terminal growth rate and WAG of plus minus 50 bips ranged from 116.14 to 181.25. Additionally, a price to book multiple valuation was calculated using a weighted average peer multiple of 5.43 times, resulting in a relative value of 89.96. Finally, an enterprise value to sales multiple was valuation was calculated using a weighted average EV to sales multiple of 1.66, resulting in a relative value of $17.33. By weighing these models, 85, 7.5, 7.5, price target of $130.57 was reached, representing 22.03% upside. The first risk is competition. The pet food industry is highly competitive and more companies are ent entering the healthy pet food sector yearly. If fresh pet cannot become profitable and are required to raise prices, fresh pet's competition will be able to gain more of the market share. The second risk is supply chain issues. The current issues with the global supply chain have forced fresh pet to earn decreased margins on their sales of pet food. These issues have also forced fresh pet to not meet demand and miss out on customers. The third risk is price increases in ingredients. With fresh pet being a provider of pet food, most of the company's cost of goods sold is pet food ingredients. If these products see increase in price, fresh pet could face condensed margins. Scott Morris was a co-founder of fresh pet and currently serves as the chief operating officer and president. He has been COO since 2015 and president since 2016 and previously served as the vice president of marketing at Meow Mix. William Sear is the chief executive officer and a member of the board of directors since 2016. He previously served as the president and CEO of Sunny Delight Beverages.